Side control escapes, side control escapes. Right, side control escapes all month so far. We've gone through our basic framing, right? Getting our underhooks going out the back. We've even followed what if I can't get that, but I can get the bottom underhook going out with our ghost, right? We talked about, okay, what if I can't get that underhook, can't get him to go at the bottom? Maybe I go arm over, right? We take him over the head. Or if he goes to a snowplow when I get my underhook and I need to take his hips over my hips, right? We've got all these different options, okay? All of them were getting me out, right? Trying to get on top. We were really focusing on that with the fight. But I may just want to stay on my back. Maybe I don't like to wrestle. I don't want to have to try to run him over, okay? Maybe he's bigger, stronger, and better looking than me. All these things can happen. So instead, I'm gonna, anytime the shoulders are heavy, the hips are usually lighter. So I'm still gonna get that inside frame, but I'm gonna try to touch my right knee to my right elbow. So I'm gonna use that outside leg shrimp, move my hips out, and make space. Okay? Now I can start extending, I can start moving. I'm gonna take that outside foot, if you can't see, come around by my butt. To be honest, it's a better angle anyway. You're welcome. <laughs> Right? I'm going to take that outside foot that I just shrimp with. I'm going to tuck my big, foe, big toe inside his thigh. Big foe, big foe is another way to say it. Right? And now I'm going to extend my body out and pull my second knee through. Extend my leg. Right? So we're going to use our jailbreak. Making space with my elbow and my knee. Keep that foot high. The outside foot tucks underneath it to anchor myself to him. Here, on the other side. Make that space, I anchor myself. Now, if he starts to try to run around my head to avoid that foot, no, don't worry about that, right? He tries to run around my head, I've got a way to hold on to him, okay? I've been seeing way too much of this this month. People get to here and they go there, right? Now, if he starts circling towards my head, I've got no way to hold on to him, right? One leg over his back does you no good. Make sense? I've been seeing a lot of people doing a really good job getting that knee in there, then they throw that leg over trying to regard. I've got no way to stop him from going this direction. By tucking that foot underneath, my hips are now attached to him. So if he tries to run around, he's got to carry me. Make sense? So get that foot in. Now I straighten my body out, pull my second knee through, send my legs. And if you want to go back to full guard, you can. Your choice. Right? Get into butterfly guard with the jailbreak. One, two, three.